<laughs> oh no, really? Hey, I'm Soul Tony J. Welcome back to another part of the quarry. So last time we did a little snooping in Mr. Hackett's office. We found a trap door, we found a secret room, and all that jazz. If so, let's get right into the game. Okay, so I know he doesn't want us to get the gun. Um, let's look at this one more time. Okay, some of these numbers are rubbed off. It's been here for a while. Okay, there's nothing really here to see. There's a drawer. So I think it's, okay, and there's Ryan. All right. <laughs> I think it's interesting that we can look at stuff over and over. And the more stuff that we find, it seems like we get more interactions with things the next time. Or, ooh, look at this angle. Or something else will pop up. So let's look at this trapdoor again, just to see. Oh no, that's the, oh! Okay, we're looking at the book again. See, like last time he only read it and put it back and now that we did it again, we actually get to see it. So let's show the text. So Caitlin is the activities coordinator Emma is the theater coach. Oh, wow. Um, Laura is a first aid support and wildlife training. Oh, and she wasn't there. So she would have taken care of Max, you know, if Max didn't die. But we also don't know what happened to Laura. Um, Dylan is the announcements person and scheduling. Abigail is the art tutor, of course. Uh, Nicholas is the cook and kitchen supervisor. So he's good with food. Max was the activities assistant, interesting, and Ryan is the sailing coach. So we need Ryan if we need to go out on the water. And Jacob is the sports coach. Share no show, share no show responsibilities among remaining counselors. So yeah, Laura and um, Max were no shows. All right, let's see what this other one is. Am I gonna have to sit here? Come on, there we go. Oh, that's the picture again. I thought that was a seat. I wonder why he has such feelings towards Mr. Hackett's children, but Ryan likes them. And maybe they all are kind of the same, like maybe introverted, just minding their own business, quiet kids. And they're not going to fit in with the popular kids. Here is the calendar for the camp, which is cool. Um, I wish we can see closer up on these last days. There's the roundup days. I forgot what the day was. Are we in August 22nd? Um, what does that say? And there's an August um, calendar right here with the X right there i'm not sure what day that is but it looks important clean oh look at this to-do list hold on look at this to-do list uh something bleach the toilets but the last one is clean shotgun now how come we can't read this interesting all right we're gonna look at the shotgun one more time if we can Dylan, what the fuck, man? I'm sorry. I just really, Oops. really want to know what it feels like to hold it. Um, oh, Ryan is getting irritated. I told you to leave alone twice. My yeah, bad. Sorry. My bad. Okay, I won't touch it again. I won't touch it again. We know it's in the office now. All right, can we like flirt with him again or something? So, got anything going on when you get back home? School or? Uh. Jerry's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? 
reagent. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah. Right. Trying to see. Me too. You're single. All right. Are the uh, phones? Oh uh, yeah, probably. Not that fast. You want to check? Oh, let's just give them another minute or two. Yeah, they sure. were at like twenty-three percent. Let's see. Let's go check on them. We are in this room for a long time. What's right here again? Oh, where are the phones? Where are the phones? Oh, here they are. Nice. Full up. Uh, no. We're going to continue exploring and hopefully they'll charge more. Maybe we got to find something and then they'll be charged. I don't know. Um, let's go back in this security place and see if anything changed. Let's look at this map. Um, okay, there's nothing else to see here. The cabins, all right. The lodge. There's a bunch of uh, exits there. Let's go back here. Nothing on video. Sound like music. Okay. All right. Oh, maybe let's look at the letters again now that we read uh, that they were no shows. Possibly? I wonder if he was going to send these out after. Like why do why why are these here? Is he in on it? Like does he know the cop and are they in on whatever is going on there? But it seems like two different situations. Like the people hunting, I guess they're gonna hunt the teens versus whatever was in the cabin or in the lodge when the cop got uh Max and Laura. I feel like we've seen everything. Okay, because I'm not going back down to the other area. Okay. I wonder if it's actually on a timer where we have to um wait for it to uh see it's pointing to that wait for it to charge i don't want to take the phones if they're not fully charged is there anything else okay look at let's look at this other side the activities list. So we have our class on Mondays, bike rides on Tuesdays. Uh, there was a rainy day that day. Shooting stars on Fridays, movie night, Saturdays. So they, they took out hiking Wednesdays and scavenger hunt Thursdays. So they don't really go out in the woods. They pretty much stay indoors other than bike rides. Huh. Interesting. Okay, I think they might really make us go back to the party with low battery. So we're going to have to really be mindful of how we use our, um, our battery. Nice. Full up. It's the same. Okay. Let's just head back to the party. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Now, why would he lie? Check your phone, Ryan. Don't take his word for it. Why would you just put it in Thank your pocket? You. Check it. Oh, no. Okay, and he locked it. Which means if we ever need to go through 
there again. We'll have to go up through the uh, trap door. Okay, Nick and Hackett Woods. This would be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes. He has an accent. I wonder what kind of accent that is. Which way should we go? They like each other. Why don't you choose? Oh man. So we're Nick now? What is that his name? Shady Glade or Rocky Road. I feel like both of these are bad decisions. Rocky Road sounds like we're gonna have to do a whole bunch of quick time events that we're gonna fall. Shady Glade is just sounds shady. Ah, uh, I wish I knew the map. Can I look at the map? Uh, cause I don't wanna run into those people. Where are we at? Oh no, we're not even on the map. We are off. Oh wait, there's Nick. Okay, this is where we are. Hmm, I wish we had another map. Oh man, okay. Let's go shady. Let's go this way. Cause the rocks sound dangerous. Oh no, really? Are you serious? Oh. oh my god, are you okay? I'll be okay. This is dangerous. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid the rocks and he slips on rocks Come anyway. On, I'll spot you. All right, so I'm Nick. Can I talk to Abigail? Abigail, your, your hair is really pretty. I love your shirt. I love your art. All right, where did we come down from? Oh, we came down from here. So let's explore over here first. Where is she at? Oh, she's just gonna follow me. Is this a trail? Oh, I got the music, okay. Oh, I hope I'm going the right way. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Oh, there's some over here. What's that, a poster? What is that? Is that a camera? Yeah. I one of the cameras. Maybe it's for the wildlife? Mm. Yeah. Trail cam. Makes sense. Oh, there's a camera. Okay, a trail camera hidden in the trees. A security measure, perhaps? Or maybe they're tracking something. I think it's security. Trail cameras around the camp are controlled by Chris Hackett from a secret room in his office. It's like he's looking for something. Okay, so everything we find is gonna unlock. So did we unlock any of the other ones? I'm not sure. All right, back to the cool music. Let's go in between here because to make sure that I see everything. It looks like something over there too. Oh, the sun is pretty. This little sunset. So, um, I heard this joke about Who's artists. Watching us? It's pretty bad. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. You want to hear it? Sure. Okay. Here it is. Why couldn't the world's fastest painter ever keep a girlfriend? Mm, why not? Because he always finished in one stroke. It's dumb. Sorry, Jacob told me about it. <laughs> that sounds like Jacob. Isn't that about golfers? Because of the stroke thing? No. Yeah, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Jacob probably heard it from his campers. That makes so much sense. These kids. These kids have filthy minds. <laughs> <laughs> Just what? a bird. Just a bird. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just okay, that's the same bird little... from earlier. Just, just trying to warn us about something. 
because earlier the bird was nice. Hold on. Earlier, Abigail saw the bird and it was tapping on that um, electrical box at the camp where the cabins were. So now it's just coming through. So Nick's objective is to collect the firewood. Um, let's ask why. Why? It's probably nothing, but ever since the campers left, I've had this weird feeling that there's someone else out there, like, watching us. Mm -hmm. Like, there are still campers here? No. Not campers? No, it's, you know, just the little hairs in the back of my neck standing up, you know? Yeah. Well, it's probably nothing. Right. Mm -mm. You're right. Abigail needs to trust her intuition. Oh, they're right over there somewhere. Okay. Oh, there's a box right there. Let's look at that. Can we look at this? Okay. Oh, a ranger box. I think box. it's a ranger box. Hold on. Let's see what that is. A box in the woods unlocked. Ooh. Inside is a change of clothes, bottled water, and supplies. Provisions for a ranger, perhaps? Do these woods even have a ranger? Oh. Like a supply cache for rangers or whatever if they're out in the woods. Naked rangers? <laughs> so oh it would seem. <laughs> that looks like a scout uniform. Hold on, let me... Can I look at it again? Okay, there's boots and a top. What does that name say? Hackett. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, I feel like I want to go back in here because I was in the middle. Wanna make sure I get every nook and cranny. So we were over there. Oh man, why won't they just stay inside? What's over here? Can we go up in here? I think we're back near the path again. Oh no. I wanna go back the other way. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. Oh no, please don't. Please don't jump over that. Oh, she's gonna draw. This view is just... Are we just gonna stand there the whole time? Sincere. Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course, I just don't know what. You'll figure it out. You're still young. I really hope we get to explore the other side. Did you hear oh, that? No. Huh? It's probably nothing. No. Oh, listen, there's something there. Is that a pig? <gasps> a little piggy! <gasps> Look! <laughs> Why is there a little so piggy tiny. Oh, 
on the baby. Oh my god, he's so <laughs> Need a baby. Hold on. Oh, what else Hold is there? On. Save Abby. What you mean? Save her from what? Save her for what? <laughs> okay. You're in danger. <gasps> Hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You Don't need breathe. to stop breathing. Tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting them which is already dead? Okay. Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. Oh no. When the danger has passed, run. Okay. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry, causing serious consequences. Oh my gosh. Oh no, not the no breathe thing again. So what happens if you hold it too long? Oh, Do no. they just pass out? <laughs> uh, playful. Okay. Well, I don't you know what I'm gonna do, y'all. Huh? I thought you were gonna draw me getting French by a wild pig. Ah, got it all up here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do with that. That's. Ah oh, man. Well, hopefully I gained some points with Abby because I saved her from the pig. So, so. I'll grab my keys. Guess we should head back. I wanted to explore some more. I didn't know that that was gonna be the trail. I thought the other side was gonna be the trail. It looked like a fence with a bridge. Oh man, I'm missing stuff. Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. They can go one more day without their phone. Oh, we're gonna take a picture. Okay, oh, this is cool. I think this is important. Wait, let's look over here first. Okay, there's rocks, trees, water. Okay, can I go over here? Well, this is cool. All right, let's take this picture. Is this is Dylan. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not. That? Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? Oh, His my eyes gosh. are everywhere. He's always watching us. Look it off, man. He He's just got trail cameras set up, you know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh, you don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just right. to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? Frustrating, no service, honest, weird light in the treehouse. I feel like that's important. I, I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. I didn't even notice. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? <laughs> Are you done? Hag of Hackett's Quarry. You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. 
You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. Okay. I mean, I guess they do, but... Don't use your full All right, right, guy. Time to get wood. At Yikes. 28%. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Um, the hog of, oh my gosh. I feel like I should say that. Oh, look at her earring. That's cute. Got a little bee on there. Um, I kind of want her to be more serious. I feel like it'll help later on. Oh, why does it like she's looking at me? I'm sorry. I'm going to say serious. Uh, are you sure you guys are okay? Nobody got gored? We're okay. It wasn't a bullfight or anything. I think Nick did make a new girlfriend. Oh, do tell. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. Cool. Special delivery. Now who did that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come right, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh. Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Oh my gosh. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. Exactly. And, and, we bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even wow. know you could still find these anyway. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. Oh, what, you're going to shoot me over them? No, please dumbass. Don't okay, we are going to shoot for them. No. Why no, would dude. you waste bullets? Absolutely not. No. Not a great idea not leaving you with a gun. Hold on. Not a great idea not leaving you with a gun. I'm gonna I'm gonna say stern. Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on, look the shooting range is like right over there. Okay, it'll be fun. Okay, look. No. You and me. Old fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops. We are supposed to be all in to the house. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Why would you do that over a Fun, snack? Huh? Like, yeah, boy! Stop waving that gun, dude. Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then Thank you can be the you. ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. He's gonna die. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old fashioned shootout. Why would you clear agree to that? It was, range back it was that easy. If I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. So, just so you know, I was an expert marksman, third, third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No you're way. You've inside. never even seen me shoot. So... Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you actually... Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming Mattel, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. They're not gonna listen. All right, so is it just me or is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye, bye. So, um, how's your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? Mmm. 
Oh, how are things with Emma? Fine. How is your little one-on-one -on -one with Emma? Ah, oh, dude, it's incredible. She's totally still into me. Really? Yeah. Just gotta figure out this whole long distance thing. Is that what she wants? How would I know what she wants? Well, I mean, you could ask her. <laughs> I could ask. <laughs> That's funny. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, curl up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. very knowledgeable. Of a lot You're of shooting things. the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two it's things. Like she knows about Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. All right. We got combat. Oh, wait. So I did don't breathe. Did we do evidence? I meant to watch evidence. Let's look at evidence really quick. Everyone likes a scavenger hunt. And at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods, fun secrets that should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence. And you may just prove your innocence. Or not. Wow. Wow, that's good to know. Okay, let's look at combat. I'm sorry to have to say, there may well be times during your stay at Hackett's Quarry where you'll have to defend yourself using potentially deadly force. When engaging in combat, simply aim your weapon and shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Take note, if you're up close and personal with your target, you'll do more damage. The farther away, the larger the spread, and injuries may not be fatal. There's a time and place for the use of weapons, and you may want to consider all your options. Remember, it's not always wise to pull the trigger. That's how people get hurt. Okay. All right. Like I don't want to do right now. All right. Ops. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. This sucks. All right, Nick. One point. Okay, this we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a oh, little wait. and uh, fuck these guys up. Was I supposed to shoot the bottle or the watermelon? All right, Nick. I I did it right. This time for real. Oh, man. Oh, I was supposed to shoot the bottle. Oh, this sucks. I don't want to do this. Nice shot. He's lucky. How's that lucky? Like, dude. Oh, this sucks. If I have to shoot really fast. Man. Okay. Oh, aiming this. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Thank you. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, oh all God. right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Such a jerk. Oh. I thought you were an ultra it. elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this freaking cannon dude. blaster. Oh my that god! That is how you get someone shot. Nah, See? it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey! Okay, oh disqualified god. for being a dumbass. What? No! Right. I'm not gonna gloat. Sorry, Jacob. Better luck next time. <laughs> Butter luck next time? Hey, I didn't <laughs> want to say it, but you're both very mean.
Blam, we thought this was over. What the? Whoa. Okay, Caitlin. She's gonna survive for real. Hot pot, peanut butter, butter pots. All right. Hackers Quarry Camp Fire Pit. Uh. So before we start that part, let's see what we have over here. So, ooh. For the campgrounds, we have the Rocky Road. Uh, skirting the edges of Shady Glade, Rocky Road is a scenic ramble along the forest uh, rock faces, a beautiful demonstration of the power of nature and one of the many wonderful secrets that lies in the woods of Hacker's Quarry Summer Camp. Shady Glade, this is where we went. Shady Glade, one of the many woodland walks through Hacker's Quarry. Hackett's, gosh, Hackett's, Hackett's. Hackett's Quarry um, is so named due to the canopy of tall trees that grow there. The dirt path through the floral undergro undergrowth makes for a serene atmospheric walk through nature. And then we have the fire pit where everyone is now. Relax and unline with a sing-along by the fire pit situated right on the pitch picturesque lakeside. It's the perfect place to catch up with your bunk mates after a hard days of hacketeering. All right, so we're all the way over here at the fire pit. Interesting. Okay, so we're close to the lodge. Uh, I don't know where those people are, but these kids don't listen. They just, I don't know. Okay, let's look at these paths. Playing with fire. So we got a new part of the path. Emma chose the fireworks. Emma set off fireworks while rejoining the others at the fire pit. Why would she do that? Well, that was another part of the quarry. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like this video and you subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll know when the next part is coming up. I'll see you in the next one.